The thing that I hope to get out of this experience is really understanding uh, what goes on with the Australian Literacy and Numeracy Foundation, what happens on ground, what happens, you know, being there with the students because living in Melbourne and Sydney there's only so much that I can understand and watching a clip on YouTube and reading research papers, there's only so much that I can really connect with and I feel like the best connection that you can find with people is actually being face to face. I decided in my life that I, I really needed to support a charity or a foundation that focused on education in Australia because it's something that I feel strongly about. The ALNF is a perfect fit because it reaches out to our most in need communities. The statistic alone that drew me into the ALNF that out of five kids only one can read at the minimum standard is a, a very alarming statistic. And I think it's really important that people in any way possible help close the Indigenous literacy gap. I really feel like that uh, this experience is really going to get me in touch with people, the culture and how these amazing literacy programs are affecting these young beautiful minds. This trip is sort of unusual in the case that we're coming to town to visit and introduce uh, someone very special to the ALNF, Faustina Angoli, who is a key ambassador to the, uh, the ALNF. Introduce them to the high school at Tennant Creek, the primary school. Take it to visit down to Mankata, a small um, school south of Tennant Creek, and have a special visit up in Elliott School, uh, a new partner within the program. So I'm very proud to show the program off to a longtime supporter of the ALNF to see both the opportunities but also those significant challenges that um, face children and teachers in this geographic area. Jackie came through uh, by way of the ALNF through one of the programs. I love teaching here because it's like a close-knit staff. You know everybody, everybody knows you, and I love teaching all my students, which two of them have now gone off to WAPA, so. No way! And one wow. of them is staying there for the program. It's really hitting home to me the significance of how remote these areas are. You know, an obvious contribution as to why the literacy rate here in remote communities is the way that it is. It, it's just another experience being out here all together and being in the elements and the environments to see what it really is like to be out here in a remote Indigenous community. So really looking forward to chatting to um, some of the local members here of Mankata and seeing the work that happens here at the local school. It's called the rainbow fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple. A little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. I just really enjoyed sharing a story with them and then later on sharing many storybooks with them. The experience that I really enjoyed was just the fact that I was around inquisitive young minds and the kids are very bright and very engaged. Like just teaching alone already is a, is a challenge at times, I think, but then if you add the heat on top of that, oh my goodness. <laughs> These people that work out here are the true heroes. They go out here and spend every single day trying to help close the Indigenous literacy gap. I, I love the fact that I could A, donate money to this particular foundation, but I think it's, it's another thing to then go beyond that and, and come out here and visit and, and observe the work that they do. And they've been writing out the meanings of the seasons on this chart here. They've also got the meanings, uh, the words in first language, and some of which I can pronounce and some of which I can't. I came here with not that many expectations but just kind of come with a neutral attitude to, to know what it was all about um, and I've come away with uh, knowing so much more about what the ALNF does. It's beyond those simple you know 30 second messages 
or you know a Word document. I got to see this in action. It's a wonderful thing that the ALNF does here in these remote Indigenous communities, and I'm very proud to be a part of a part of this whole experience. And I'm very proud to have supported them for the two years, and I hope that it will be a, a lifelong relationship. Thank you.